I'll just bet that that crappy Chicago mall Santa didn't stop his virtue signaling at just that little boy that we saw who he made cry. Just what kind of a Scrooge does this kind of thing to make a little boy cry, especially at this time of year? I mean, put a uniform on some people and they think they have some kind of authority over people, especially kids. What a weak individual. I don't care what you believe. You don't have the right to tell other people's kids what to do. I mean, come on, this guy and guys like him are supposed to be representative of children's and families holiday magic and tradition for pictures and memories and being able to send things to grandparents because grandparents eat that stuff up. So who the hell did this guy think he was anyway? Besides that, isn't playing Santa an acting job? I mean, this guy definitely shouldn't be playing Santa Claus. Maybe he'd be better off in the role of this guy. I just wonder. What other toys and gifts that he denied to other children of his eight-hour shift that day? Let's make a list and check it twice, shall we? But before we do that, I want to thank all my supporters and new subscribers for clicking on my little acre of the internet and let you know that I bear gifts for donations to my channel now. That way you can get more for your money than just my big mouth. <laughs> While you're also helping me grow my channel so that I can include you in my conversations. I really, really want to make this into a, a call-in talk show. And of course, I promise not, to, uh, <laughs> promise not to broadcast live when all of our other favorites are broadcasting. I mean, I want to watch these guys too. Anyways, I made a video to show you how and I will include that in the end cards and the link down below. Uh, I would also appreciate a like, a thumbs up, a comment, but sharing my videos, I'm told, does the absolute most for the algorithms and getting me recommended to others and helping me grow. And of course, a donation would be the ultimate. I also have a P.O. box if you are not on PayPal and want to send me something. All my links are down below and thank you in advance. Now, getting to the list. First of all, Santa, uh, Santa himself offered alternatives to the Nerf gun that, that surprised me, actually. Legos. If you look up Legos and sexist or Legos and racist, there are many, many, many articles that come up. So Legos have been deemed sexist by many publications and organizations. Uh, actually, mainly due to its magazines publishing separate magazines for boys and girls while claiming that they have no gender biases, that all children are creative and can use the blocks, which, why not? And why not try and market to the people that they would sell whatever to the most? I mean, you know, they do, they're not saying that these things are only for girls or only for boys. They're just marketing to who they think would actually be more interested in each set. You can't blame somebody for trying to make money. And of course, you know, trucks and cars will probably either force toxic masculinity and or would have to be giving with the stipulation 
that they have to be the electric type of cars with absolutely no fossil fuel consumption. Forget about the slave labor that goes into the giant batteries that pollute the earth after they wear out. But uh, this kid can't have a Nerf gun? Let's see. Did Susie ask for a Barbie or an American Girl doll? Santa probably said, no, I can't bring you a Barbie. She's too white privileged. And American Girl dolls are xenophobic. So I will bring you this rag doll from Indonesia, slave labor instead. <laughs> What do you think? Javier asked for a sushi set, complete with chopsticks and soy sauce dishes. Santa says, no, I can't bring that to you because I can't let you culturally appropriate another race's cuisine. You have to cook in a cucina and make tortillas and Spanish food only. I'll bring you a tortilla press and a mortar and pestle instead. What do you think? Jackson. He asked Santa for a baseball mitt and a bat. Santa says, no, I can't bring you that. Sports lead to toxic masculinity and we can't have you abusing women. I can bring you the bat, but only if you promise to peacefully protest when we tell you to. What do you think? Should I go on? What do you think? I'll tell you what I think, Santa. I think you're a virtue signaling asswipe that probably doesn't have any kids of his own and has no business dealing with kids either. Now, this video made me a bit angry that someone out there would have the balls to hurt a child and make him cry in front of his mother, who seemed to be trying to help you out. But this was the kicker for me. Don't cry. It's okay. Just a whole lot of nerve right there. And I think at this point, he would have gotten at least a dirty look from me. Of course, I'm not all about bad news, yes. What this guy did was a dick move, but I like the happy endings to the story. First, we find out that the kid's father is a Chicago cop. How ironic, huh? Then there's this video. I do believe this is another Santa sent by the mall after his apologies, or after the mall's apologies. Uh, and sent the kid a uh, Nerf gun, a big one. Actually, this gun was as big as this kid was. Open it, it's unlocked, open it. <gasps> open the door, open the door. How are you? Good. Well, there was a mistake made yesterday, huh? Yeah. Well, we're so sorry about that, okay? Can Santa come in? Of course. Yes. This is big. This is real. Oh. <laughs> But also, Steven Crowder dressed up and did a Santa call. Uh, I have to show it to you to believe it, and I have to admit, it brought a little bit of a tear to my eye. It was actually one of the sweetest things I've seen in a long time. Oh, 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 there's little Michael. Little Michael, do you know who this is making a call just for you? Who is that? Santa. 
This is Santa, that's right. And I understand that you're a fan of me, Santa, and uh, you had a little bit of a run-in with one of those uh, helpers at the mall who hadn't been vetted properly yesterday. Is that right? What do you call, what do you call him? Um... Bad Santa. That's right, bad Santa, who didn't pass the uh, chemical test beforehand, but we've taken care of that. And as the real Santa, uh, I understand that uh, you know the rules of engagement here, that you've been a very... Have you been a good boy this year? Okay. Now, I know that you're, uh, you, you're a fan of, uh, of boxing, just like old Santa here. Uh, you like boxing, and uh, you're a big fan of Rocky Balboa. Do I have that right? Just the look on this kid's face here is the actual magic that we're looking for from a child at this time of year, from a Santa. <laughs> Oh, maybe that's another little Michael. Maybe I have that wrong. You're not the boxer? <laughs> that's you! Let me see those, let me see those fists there, young Michael. Let me see. Put up your dukes. Ho, 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 ho! Oh, look at that. I think that's going to be a heavyweight. Look, he's in his peekaboo stance. Wow! Yeah. Wonderful. Now, look at that. Training with custom auto so young. Oh, now you've been good, though. Right? right? You've been good. You, you don't... Do you know who... Custom auto trained Mike Tyson. And uh, I understand you also... You have two young... Two dogs, right? Do, I know one is a bulldog. And then there's another one. What kind of dog is, is uh, Ozzy? Bug. He's a pug. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, they have to be delivered by C-section. Now, do you know that Santa Claus, you can't see him, but I have a, I have a doggo Argentino who's like a bulldog, and his name is Joe Lewis. I don't know if you remember Joe Lewis, but he's a world-famous boxer from a long time ago. That might be before your time. It's okay. Now, let me ask you this, uh, young Michael. What is it? I know that the, the helper, again, no association there. We're looking through HR, and I'll uh, get back to your parents about this. What was it that you asked that unqualified helper for uh, at the mall? A Nerf gun! Ho, 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 ho! Well, that sounds like a wonderful gift, a wonderful toy. And that man told you no? Oh, well, let me tell you, that's not, the, that's not the real Santa. He's what your parents will teach you about when you get older. He's what we call a communist. And we, <laughs> we had to get rid of them at the North Pole. You know what? Do me a favor. If you want a gift... I want to give you a gift, okay? I really want to give you a gift. I think that Nerf gun sounds mighty nice. But give your mother a kiss on the cheek and give your dad right now a big old hug. Can you do that for Santa? Okay, your mother first, ladies first. Now give the old, give the old policeman a big hug. Oh, ho, 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 that's wonderful. Oh, look at that. That makes... This made my cord. It made your cord go, well, that's okay. Listen, maybe Santa comes down your chimney with something wireless, okay? But you just need to keep that behavior up. All right, well, listen, Michael, I know that you're very busy and Santa's very busy, but I tell you what, maybe this Christmas you might have something special there under that blue Christmas tree in your bedroom. Keep that up. Make sure you put out some cookies for Santa and some carrots for the reindeer. You know, reindeer, they're, ve they're, they're, they're herbivores, right? You do that and uh, be a good boy. And I think, I can't make any promises, but you'll probably get just what you're looking for this Christmas. Okay, Michael? All right. And just make sure, make sure, Michael, one more thing I'll ask of you. When you see people down the street, 
Be friendly, show them a smile, and say Merry Christmas to everyone. Because I know yesterday was hard and that man was mean to you. And throughout your life, you'll find some people who are mean. Some people who are mean are less happy with themselves than they are with you. And what you do is you continue getting big and strong, listen to your mother and daddy, and you just be nice and smile right back and say Merry Christmas to all. All right, Michael, I have to go feed the reindeer and I have some elves who are being insubordinate, so I have my plate full. But thank you so much for taking the time, and I look forward to stopping by your house this Christmas. Okay, Michael? Thank you. Louder. Thank you. Uh, oh, thank you. That warms my heart. Bye, Michael. Bye, Sabella and Michael Sr. Thank you for taking Bye, the time. I would have to say that the best part of this is the family's reaction to it. Um, they claim that they're blessed enough to make sure that this child had enough before he even went to see Santa. Uh, they are appreciative of all of the attention that this has garnered, which actually, of course, you know what happens. People send oodles and oodles and oodles and oodles of gifts and money and all of that. And the best part about it is that this family is actually willing to share that with others that are less fortunate if you will so this is actually truly truly what the christmas spirit is about it's not a time to lecture or ridicule or scold it's a time for love and all living beings need love especially right now so go out there and share some holiday cheer even if you don't believe in christmas be nice to people Everyone is going through a very, very hard time right now. If you listen to any of the pundits that I listen to, you'll also find that people are getting ready to lose their homes. Almost 19 million people are getting ready to lose their homes. Uh, this particular thing that has been going on has not been pleasant. A lot of people are, are distraught, despaired. It's been a long year. And a lot of people haven't been able to do normal things like see their families. So don't go around lecturing people. First of all, it's not your right. Second of all, we're all miserable right now. Don't make it worse. I couldn't not say anything. I know this is all over the internet, but I couldn't not say anything. This was horrible. I've never seen anything like it in my life. Now, Santas do make kids cry, but not because they ruin the magic for them. A lot of times, the little, little kids, little kids are scared of Santa. You see all the pictures with the kids going, Wah! but Santa always tries to comfort them and let them know that he's there to bring them joy. He doesn't tell kids no. So if you're going to be a mall Santa, at least do it right. A child's mind is nothing like an adult's mind. So if you're actually going to deal with children, please try to keep that in mind. Leave your ideals at home and make the kids happy. There's nothing more blessed than a child's laughter and nothing more disheartening than listening to them cry, especially over hurt feelings. So Santa's out there, you actors out there, do your jobs. I applaud all of the people that made this child's Christmas much better. Hopefully he won't remember the bad Santa. I do hope you enjoyed my video today. Once again, don't forget I have a video and I'm going to put it in the end cards here that you can go to to find out how to have the goddess bear gifts when you donate to my channel. Of course, I, I would also appreciate a share. That's actually something that helps the most is sharing my videos. A like, a comment, and of course a donation would be the ultimate. Don't forget I have a P.O. box in case you're not on PayPal. Everything's down in the description below and thank you in advance. Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. Until next time.